What's up guys, it's Kai the Player. So this is going to be my Let's Play Part 1 style of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Now Part 1, we're going to be doing the first mission and that is relatively a simple mission. Now when you first get to this portion after the tutorial stage of the game, you have six people in a party. Two main characters and four other characters. You're gonna just go to the pub and you're going to accept the first mission that you can get. First mission is gonna be herd picking. Herd picking is the first mission. There are 24 missions that are story based in this game. So there will be 24 parts to this let's play. I'll let you guys know right now. So pretty much after you do the mission, choose it. Mont Blanc comes up to you like, uh, so we on this mission? All right, let's go. So anyways, when you get to the map, the mission starts and you're greeted with five enemies on the screen, four of which are goblins and one are a fairy. I'm telling you this right now, you're not going to keep any of the people that are currently on your team. So just get used to playing with these guys for this first match and that's it. If you really want to, you can. I don't recommend that you do it. And you're gonna play out the match pretty safe and just beat the enemies. You, There is virtually no way you can be KO'd in this first mission, even though it's possible. But you have a white mage as backup in case you are potentially unable to defeat these guys. So I'll, I'm gonna say this. Marchi and Mont Blanc have the worst speed of all the characters on your clan at the moment. There's two ways you can go about fixing that. Number one, right off the bat, you want to make Marchi and Mont Blanc into thieves. So then that way they're able to increase their stats as well as get the next classes early on. Then you want to also make sure you prioritize just your, the stats because if you guys are going to go on this journey there's one thing i will be doing and i'll let you guys know ahead of time i will be increasing the stats for marchi very early on and there's this trick that i use in one of the early later missions that you can get access to in the early portion of the game but Right now, Marchi has a piss poor amount of MP and his HP is decent for this time in the game. Now the most difficult enemy of them all is going to be the Red Cap or the Red Goblin. The other enemies are relatively not that hard to deal with. And you got Mont Blanc Black Magic which allows you to attack from afar which tends to be useful when it comes to dealing with these enemies. So <clears throat> what you could do is you could try to just gather around each enemy, take them out, move on to the next one, next one. Your heavy hitter is going to be the soldier, you, Marchi, Mont Blanc, and the white, the white monk. Um, so just try to focus on using those characters to cause the damage. The archer can be used as a support to take down an enemy that has been dealt with in the white mange if for some odd reason you take damage and you can't heal, you can use the white mange to help you out. I'm just going to keep saying this is a relatively easy engagement. This is serves as a true test outside of the tutorial stage and this should not be hard. But after this first one, it'll be possible to be killed in engagements. And I'm not saying that because I suck at the game, but because they really set you up for failure early on. There is no way that you can train your units at first. So that's just something you're going to have to be aware of. Okay, so let's kind of fast forward now. And we dealt with some of the enemies and at the current moment we are just about finished with this fight so the only two enemies that are left are the red cap and the blue cap now once again the red cap is going to be the one to give the most trouble out of all the enemies so definitely when you get the chance take out that enemy now because this is the first stage we don't check any of the enemies items 
there's no way that you can go about recruiting a hunter so don't even bother wasting your time and if you could you wouldn't even have the necessary equipment to be able to capture any of these goblins so don't worry about it and looks like the last enemy is the goblin so you're gonna go ahead and attack the goblin and just hopefully you beat him so fast forward a little bit and we are at the portion where we are done with the engagement now this engagement is one last time the easiest one in this game because you should not die by some weird miracle you lose in this first one start over and try again make sure you use pressure with the white mage to keep everybody healed up and that's it so after you finish the engagement you're literally looking for some medical herbs and mop blocks like yeah they uh grow all over the place so this was kind of a pointless mission to take yeah like what yo why'd you do this huh huh but hey look we can start off slow so that is it for this first part i will be trying to drop these a lot so be on the lookout I'm Kyle the Player, and I'll talk to you guys later.